Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Now, this is a difficult video to make, but I need a release. That's why I started this bloody channel before the tick knack stupidness. You know, this is my release, so um, I might not even upload it, but I'm going to record it. I think um, it might be time to put my mum in a home. Um, I've got to put myself first now. I think the stress is getting too much. I have about a 10 ulcers on my tongue. My tongue is a nightmare. And that's not normal. One maybe, two ulcers, possibly. 10 of them, no. It's stress, you know, and my life is stressful enough as it is, you know, it's almost a year to the day that I've been, I've had a sort of Damocles hanging over my head. I've not talked about it and I won't talk about it properly, but it's incredibly stressful, you know. Um, what I will say is that sometimes you make something out of love for loving eyes and a year later, you know, the eyes are no longer loving. They're off with a twat with a moustache and you're being bloody blackmailed with it. But that's, that's more than I should even say anyway. But my mum's added to it massively now, you know, over the last week or so. Today has just been, it's just been a nightmare. I got home from work, you know, out working all bloody night. I get home, you know, I'm a caregiver out in the community. That's my job. And I'm a caregiver at home looking after my mum. Get home and she hasn't even done the bloody washing up. You know, um, what's the point of spending nearly £10 a month on arthritis medications if she's not even going to use her bloody joints? It's just laziness, just laziness. But, you know, being a big-hearted guy that I am, I've just done it, not even mentioned it. You know, just washed up, even though I've been working. Um, days gone on, days gone on. You know, I've made my little mince pie video for my YouTube channel as a vlogger. Um, I've got to do that as well. And I've gone to cook dinner, right? Now, I've got... And an absolute bargain from the co-op. Two massive pizzas for eight quid, posh pizzas. Um, did them with a nice salad, and I wanted to do them with chips and stuff, and my mum's piping up. Um, and it was bad enough, you know, a few months ago. My sister Amy's a vegan, and she was trying to spread it to my mum. Luckily, I kind of talked her out of that, you know, having none of that. However, these kind of infectious things, they carry on, don't they? She wasn't happy with just chips, my mum. She wanted sweet potato fries. I mean, they're not from me, so they're big fat bits of sweet potato, and it's incredibly inconvenient. We've only got a small oven, you know, I've got pizzas in there, I've got normal chips in there, and I've got to have sweet potato fries in there as well. Anyway, again, I did it, put myself out, I did it. And we're sitting down, and we're eating dinner, and she's now asking me to get hummus for her to dip her sweet potato things in there, hummus. Now, you know, it comes a point where you've got to push back a little bit. And I'm saying, what are you hummus for? You know, it's vegetarian snot. It's my sister's influence again. Just have it with bloody ketchup like a normal person. You know, and my mum, you know how she reacted to this? She goes, oh, shut up. And she chucked, chucked one of these lumps of hot sweet potato at my head. I was lucky it didn't stick to it. It could have burnt me. It could have injured me. You know, and she's cackling about it like it's funny. You tell me that's the reaction of a normal person, someone who's not losing it. No, it's bloody not. No, it's bloody not. You know, and we got through dinner, we got through dinner, you know, I got her a bloody hummus, she dipped her sweet potato wedges in it, whatever they are, all right? And I've just gone to make myself a cup of tea, to go on to make myself a cup of tea, you know, a basic human right for an Englishman, right? Go on to get the sugar out of the bowl, put my spoon in there, right? Crack, crunch, crunch. What the hell is that? Get out of the spoon. It's a mixture of sugar and crisp. In there. So I'm in there. I'm in there. I'm in a sugar bowl. I'm investigating, finding out exactly what's going on. I've got an inquisitive mind. You know, I'm not going to let this rest. My mother has buried crisps under a surface layer of sugar. Now, so I've, I've confronted her about this. Like I say, you've got to push back. You know, when someone's losing it, you've got to, you know, question them about it. You know, what the hell are you doing, Mum? Why are there bloody crisps in a sugar bowl? She's denying it. She's denying it. She's trying to claim that it's Eddie, my one-year-old nephew, must have done it. He's one. He can barely walk, let alone reach up to the side. It's twice the height of him. There's no way he could have done that. And he hasn't got the presence of cognitive thinking to hide crisps in there and then cover it with sugar. And she's adamant. She's claiming it's Eddie. And I can see a smirk on her face. And you tell me that's the actions of a rational woman. You know, that is someone who is losing their shit now. Um, I, I'm sorry, I shouldn't swear, you know, but it's affected me. It's affected me. I'm incredibly stressed by it. And now I've got to consider whether to put her in a home or not. Because at some point, you know, you've got to say enough is enough. And, you know, you've got to look after number one, which is yourself. Um, you know what, actually, I will upload this. Because this is why I started my corner before anyone was watching videos. It was for me to release these kind of feelings. And also, you know, there's... It might be shared, you know, some of the people might be going through this, other caregivers, you know, you know, just to know you're not alone having to deal with these kind of horrendous situations. And also, if anyone's been in this situation, but I've had to put their parents into into a home, you know, it would be good to know. It would be good to know how you knew it was time and how you went about it and stuff. Uh, so do, please let me know in the comments and stuff. But yeah, that's what I'm dealing with at the moment. Don't feel sorry for me. It's It's part of life. It's part of life.